Well, I'm Rob Ferguson. I'm the head of AI for Microsoft for Startups. I'm going to be hosting you all tonight as we learn everything about Time GPT and all the people who uh, came to learn about Time Series uh, data today. Um, briefly, I'll tell you a little bit about Microsoft for Startups because uh, I can't help but plug it since I'm here. Um, so for anybody who is an entrepreneur or thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, you can use Microsoft for Startups. And so it's a, a, like a, a progressive uh, way of building your business. So unlike a lot of different kind of credit programs, you can go to Microsoft Founders Hub, and there you can sign up to get uh, either an introductory set of uh, credits to build the different Microsoft products or to be able to go and get time with an expert. So you can get a 45-minute session with an expert right away, right at Founders Hub. And then it continues all the way through your startup journey, all the way through your top, uh, we call them Pegasus startups, you know, an absolute ton of credits, ability to do sell with Microsoft um, at every level in between. So if you want to go check it out, check out Microsoft for Startups, Founders Hub. That's where you would sign up and check it out. That said, I'm going to do something weird, and I'm immediately going to go and talk about AWS. Because <laughs> four weeks ago, I was the global head of AI for AWS Startups and Venture Capital. <laughs> um, and at AWS, I ran what was called the Generative AI Accelerator, where we had over 1,200 people, well, companies, actually, uh, apply to be part of the Generative AI Accelerator, get $300,000 of credits, and be able to go build Generative AI with AWS. Well, of that set, I was able to pick 10 to 20 startups. That was the, the, the amount after a bunch of fundraising with Amazon. And Nixla was one of the startups that I picked. Ooh. So I'm really excited <laughs> to be helping them today, announcing their product, and be able to take you on the entire journey of starting from, you know, uh, less than 1% applicant in a huge accelerator worldwide, all the way to being uh, announcing here today. So I'm really excited for them. So maybe we can give a hand to Nixla. <laughs> um, so today as MC, I'll get to introduce you to a bunch of people who are uh, building with Time GPT and some of the people behind the scenes here. Really excited about it. One of the factors that I really like is that, you know, uh, I've been an AI practitioner for over 20 years, and anything can get represented as a time series. And, you know, if you actually look at financial analysts who start looking at time series data, you know, you get all this hilarious, I would call it like, dead cat triple bounce, or, you know, like reading tea leaves to try to understand what's coming through. And it can be really complicated to explain to people how you're going to work with data that could literally be represented as anything. And engineering differences really matter. When I was CTO at Automatic, you know, the thing that made the biggest difference to us was be able to analyze time series right on disk. Um, and so being able to go and understand, you know, at the time it was Presto. I think now people might use Athena. Um, a lot of different options out there. <laughs> um, be able to understand things with profit. All the different ways of going through and understanding time series data. You know, you need a lot of different tools in your arsenal to be able to work with this. And there are a lot of different engineering concerns that come around it. And so I think uh, we've had this radical AI revolution where you, all of a sudden we have this ability to start thinking, well, what happens if we train absolutely massive models? Can we actually start to rethink uh, previously incredibly difficult problems in a new context? And I think that's what we're here to do today and learn about it in a new way. And so, in particular, I've always had a real soft spot for open source machine learning. My first open source machine learning library I wrote in 2004. And a major part of open source machine learning has been this wave that we see now. When I was working in my previous job, my thesis was, okay, there's going to be a bunch of people at AI labs who are going to go off, and they're going to take things that have been stuck in the AI lab for years, um, and start building their own companies. And there's also going to be an equal amount of people who come from open source building and engaging in that community to be able to build out uh, new products and really move things a lot faster. 
For me, AI is really a startup space, and it's really a space that embraces open source. And so Nixla has one of the most popular time series libraries that you can go use already. You can check it out on their GitHub, um, be able to do things like anomaly detection and forecast prediction. And so it was no surprise to me at all that they would be one of the best sets of people to really go through with their domain knowledge to actually start going through and working on applying this new technology of building absolutely massive models for a specific use. And then we start getting understanding things like how could few shot learning actually get involved in time series. I'll let Max and Azul cover the actual details a little bit later. Um, but in the meantime, I think you might notice that we're in this absolutely amazing venue. Um, so I really want to thank MindsDB and their SFAI Collective for hosting us tonight. <laughs> And to tell us just a little bit more about it, I'll, I'll welcome Ian McIntyre to the stage. We are so happy to have you here, Rob. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you, everyone, for coming and checking out our brand new office. Minds to be has been in this space for all of one month, maybe one month and two weeks. Um, and as you can see, we're still in the process of setting it up, getting it some furniture and stuff. But we're very proud and excited to welcome you here today for our very first event. So thank you for being here and being part of this with us. Um, I want to say congratulations and a massive thank you to Nixler. We have known Nixler for a long time, obviously, but Nixler have come out and joined us and put on our very first event, and thank you to, to you guys for doing this here with us. A little bit about the MindsDB SFAI Collective. So this space is too big for MindsDB. We are a 25-person team about to grow very quickly, but we are not 11,000 square foot space. So you might, you might picture that we're probably doing something a little bit more than an office here. And the idea is, if you know MindsDB, you know we're an open source company. We're all about giving back to the community that we're a part of, and we gain from that too. What we want to do with this space is we want to open this up to some of the cool people who, for example, are working in this little office right above me right now, who are young startups working on AI projects that we vetted to check that we think that they're doing something the right way, good for the world. Um, not necessarily directly related to MindsDB, it can be anyone who's working on something cool that we want to support. Um, and in kind, they're going to organise events for, office, for the office here, um, but we're going to support them by opening the space, allowing them to work here, run their own events, Nixler being the first example of a successful event um, in that vein. So MindsDB's SFAI Collective is something that we're going to be doing here for at least the next three years in this space. If you know the area, you know that OpenAI are based nearby. There's a whole bunch of other startups, and this is really becoming the hub worldwide of this technology. So we're excited to be right in the middle of it and to be opening it up to people like you to come and learn, collaborate. There'll be all kinds of events. For example, on Friday night, we have a pretty big party, which will be pretty fun. And this is, uh, this is our first kind of conference-style professional event. So thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, everyone who's, who's presenting tonight. And uh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs>